Hey friends, it's me Tiger. Welcome back to another speed build video here on my fairy core island of Emerald. If you didn't see the last video on this island, we went on a villager hunt and ended up inviting Audie the wolf to Emerald. I was super excited because I've had a private beach house design idea in the back of my mind now for months. Audie is a beach gal and her house is the perfect style for this. So today we are going to be giving her a dream private beach home. If you would like to see more Animal Crossing content, like let's plays, builds, and more, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I just started a new island and we are having so much fun with that. I highly recommend watching the first three episodes of that series. I will link them down below. The first thing I had to do was place Audie's house on the beach. I chose this area near the pier on my island so that we would have a bigger space to work with. I also thought it would be cute because Audie could go on the pier and read or hang out with friends there too. I customized a lot of furniture for this build. If you want to see the design codes for any of these custom designs, I have a video linked below where I show all of them. If one isn't in the video or you're having trouble finding one, just comment below and I will try my best to find the one you're looking for. I wanted to add some pathway into this build to give the sand more color and texture. I used the green grass pathway that I've been using all over my island. I created two small shapes with the path, nothing major. I didn't want to take too much away from the actual sand on the beach. I also wanted to mention that all of the music you're hearing in this video is by Demon Gummies. All of their links are in the description if you want to listen to more. After I added some grass, I also put some other custom designs around the sand, just some flowers, stones, and other natural looking designs to again add more color, texture, and detail. I usually struggle when decorating beach builds or houses, so I practiced pretending that it wasn't a beach and just decorated it like I would any other house on my island. I think this really helped and this house ended up being one of my favorite builds on Emerald, so I'm really excited for you guys to see the final product. I wanted Audie to have a big seating space in front of her house. She is such a vibrant character and I feel like she would be the entertainer type. Always having people over, being a little extroverted, social butterfly, not like me. I wanted to give her a special place where she could hang out with her friends. The log furniture is perfect for the beach. I think it has that tropical vibe, especially with the birchwood customization. I just arranged the furniture in a little circle around this table so that they would have like a little hangout space here. To make this build flow with the rest of my island and to match the very core theme, I did add some butterfly models and mushrooms all around. Of course, I had to give Audie the hibiscus surfboard. I don't think I've ever seen anyone decorate her yard without this surfboard. It's sort of become a staple piece for Audie and I had to be basic and add it into this build. It just matches her so well. On the right side of Audie's beach, I made a giant picnic with this beautiful custom design blanket. To match with the other side of her house, I did use the log lounge chairs with the same birchwood and pillow customization.
There were also some things I wanted to place on top of this table over here. I kind of hate how the items hang off the tables when they could obviously fit on top without doing that. That's just one of the small details in this game that bothers me, but sometimes it could also be a bit more fun and messy when items do this. So I didn't mind it too much, but you'll see me playing around with the items trying to get a look that I liked. I went back to the picnic area and added more weeds, butterflies, and design codes to spruce it up a bit, give it more color, and just make it look more full. I also grabbed more flowers to put around Adi's house. Usually I only place flower sprouts on the beach, but I wanted this build to be more colorful and super vibrant to match Adi's energy. So I used fully grown flowers this time. I wanted to try something really cool behind her house with some vertical board fencing and the festival garland. You'll see that I experimented with it for a while to get the look that I wanted. I finally got it to work and I just, I love the way that this looks. I think adding this fence gives her some more privacy and the rainbow garland is just so pretty. I can't wait to see what her house looks like at nighttime with the lights from the garland. I think it'll be so magical. I planted some coconut trees around the beach and also some regular trees on the land behind Adi's house. I'm not sure what I will build back here, but I wanted some trees so that we would have a pretty background for her house. I also made a little symmetrical entrance leading up to Adi's beach by placing some cedar trees, a wooden pathway, and some flowers. And I extended the vertical board um, fence design to kind of fill it in and close it off. Now I was just adding some finishing details to make the area look more finished and full. I decided to add some more vertical board fencing over on the right side of Adi's yard. I wanted to close off this side of the beach so that we would have room to build something separate behind this fence if that makes sense. I left one space open and added a wooden path so that you could go easily between the areas whenever there is something over there. If you have any ideas of what I should build back there, please leave them down below. I 
Again, I extended the fence design back here. I really wanted to give the idea that this was Adi's private beach. We were finally finished with Adi's beach home, so I time traveled to have all of the trees grow in. Now let's go ahead and take the final walk through. I love how this turned out. I am so happy with this build. I think that Adi will love this space too. It is perfect for her. We have the little picnic space and the big seating area on the left here. I think it's just so cute. I love it so much. Like I said before, I usually struggle with beach builds, so I was kind of nervous to see how this would all all turn out but once all the coconut trees and everything are here I think it just it looks so nice it's like radiating sunshine and vibrancy and I'm just really happy with it if you enjoyed the speed build be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe for more like I mentioned earlier I just started a new town core island and would love for you to check it out so I will link that down below please be safe have a great day or night and remember to always take care of yourself see you all next time bye Thank you.